So what did we find about the structure of advisors relative to the structure of those deal flows? In the figure you see in front of you on the left hand side, we show a rough geographical allocation of going out investment and you will see that a lot of that going out investment has been based in emerging markets, Africa, uh, South America, to a limited extent uh, South Asia, of course with the triad represented uh, including Australia. But we see a distinct divorce in the geographical pattern of advisory services. So it's not true that either acquirer or target engage advisors at home or in the uh, counterpart's jurisdiction, but instead advisors are radically and completely geographically separated from the geographical structure of the deal themselves. So whereas in you might have a company in Urumju uh, attempting to merge with a company in Buenos Aires, you will see that the advisors on those transactions might be based in New York and London. And of course those jurisdictions at first glance have absolutely nothing to do with the jurisdictions engaged in the economically valuable merger transaction in itself. So we see this very puzzling pattern in the geographical data that advisors are geographically divorced from their clients, but looking beneath the surface of these deal flows, we see that there is a structure or pattern in advisory relationships themselves. So if we look at the clustering of advisors, both financial advisors and lawyers, we see that there are certain configurations which appear more often than other configurations. So we see financial advisors in London working very frequently with law firms in New York. And so it's that social structure, it's that social network structure of relationships between these advisors which determines the deal flow that occurs in geographical geography across time. And one of the arguments we make in our paper is that we have to take a new view of geography. Uh, we're used to thinking about geography in terms of space and time, countries, mountains, rivers, and so forth. But what we hope to show is that there's other dimensions of geography, particularly geography of legal complexity, geography of differentiation. It's those variable geographies, it's the social network you see in front of you, and it's the geography of that network which in fact determines financial flows across space and time much more than the physical geography we are used to thinking about.